of December 2022 being Wednesday Obochafo. I am now joined by Maazichina Samoru in order to speak to dear friends. Maazi, please over to you. Maazichina, good evening. There we Um, Dear friends and all the lovers of freedom, all IPUB members around the world, all Biafrans, both in Biafra land, in the contraction called Nigeria. My name is Mazi China Samoru. Um, it's unfortunate that this news is coming very late. I did not expect to be here on the radio. Actually, I was planning to be on the radio by the weekend or by early next week. But notwithstanding, I'm still going to come on radio by next week. But this broadcast, I have just come on air because of some few developments happening in Biafra land. I have come to clarify few topics. That few topics are number one, the killing of a Biafrans in Ihiamufu. Number two, the videos that someone mentioned my name, a nephew to Hopo Zadema. And three, all the publications you are seeing these days, they say they attack IPOB camps, ESN camp. I have come to clarify these things, and I have come to ask their friends, it is time for every one of you to rise up. The enemies are st staring up their games. And if you keep silent, if you feel that you are going to watch them or we are going to watch them, they are all lying. The first topic I want to pick is the killing of our people in Ihamufu. Most of us in the IPUB, when things happen, we do take time to analyze things that happened, why they are happening, what is happening, who are behind it. That's why we do take time before we come out to speak. Within last month and this month, we have seen a lot of attacks happening in Enugu, especially. And these attacks happening in Enugu, they are happening because the governor of Enugu and traditional rulers in Enugu they are all complacent in all that is happening. Irrespective of what has happened in Ihamufu, irrespective of the things that the IPOB leadership was at a certain time was not happy and the ESN command were not happy because of what has been meted out to us in Ihamufu. It did not stop the ESN to step into Ihamufu. But we have realized that as we try to quench the problem happening in Ihamufu, the GOC of 82 Division continue to bring in more terrorists into Ihamufu area or into Ihamufu region. We have seen what happened on Sunday, how they massacred our people in their own ancestral land. The road that leads to Ihamufu have a gate. And for security reasons of how the Fulani is do in troop into those communities, the Ihamufu people built a gate that they used to protect their community from invaders who are coming in maybe in the night. And for some couple of weeks, because of the insecurity in that place, this gate has been locked. Even though Nigerian military have sent a lot of, of their men on that places. And at the end of the day, the Nigerian military broke the gate and gave way for their special forces and the Fulani men to move into Ihamufu area. 
and we have seen what happened on Sunday, how they attacked and massacred our people a couple of days back. But I will make it very clear this night, you cannot intimidate IPOB, you cannot intimidate ESN, or you cannot intimidate any one of us, even Mazenam the Kano in the prison yard. I swear in the name of Chukwoki Kadiyama, the Nigerian government should put this thing down. They should write it down this night. We shall revenge heavily. We shall revenge against the killing of our people in Iran. They have massacred our people. Nigerian government has gone mute. The Nigerian media has gone mute. International communities that are looking for who to brand the terrorists or who to find one blame to blame. All of them have gone mute. Amnesty International have gone mute. The UK High Commission have gone mute. The people in the USA embassies have gone mute. Look at how our people were massacred. No governor in the Southeast have made any statement condemning the death and the massacre of our people in Enugu. The Enugu state governor cannot do anything. Last time he gave them 10 million to go and take care. And this night, I am making it very clear. The Fulani has me, and the Nigerian forces will never massacre our people in Iyamufu and go free. We shall revenge in Libonase. And that is what we are going to apply. I am making it very clear. Since the thing, because they are holding Mazen and they can use it to intimidate our people, and I'm saying it. If any revenge we carry out against the killing of our people, against the full and his men, and any governor, any traditional ruler, rise up to talk rubbish, he have already by market with us. Because all of them are there, our people are being massacred, nobody is saying anything. They have massacred our people, massacred men, youth of our community. We know nobody will speak for them. But this night I'm making it very clear. We are not going to talk too much on this issue, but the Fulani Hesme and their sponsors in Biafra land will hear from us. They will never use the blood of our people to end this year. It will never happen. If they like, they can do anything they want. I say it will never happen. They cannot come. The issue of Iyamuf becomes something of a national interest. And we are going to make sure that anything we will do to avenge the death of our people in Iyamufu, whether we avenge it in the north, whether we avenge it in the south, whether we avenge it in the west or in the east, what we know, we will pay them back so that they will know that tomorrow, wherever they step in, they will never kill any of their friends in their own ancestral home. That is what I have come this night to clarify. And I am going to the number second point, which is the ESN, they are showing camps. And I can tell you, dear friends, there is no ESN those camps belong to. The ESN camps are all intact in the bushes where they are following. These are the camps the Nigerian government and the Nigerian agent, devil money, hopes of the man. These are the camps they all set up. This, look at how they are invading those places. Look at what they are doing. Because they want to show the world that they are invading ESN camp. These are not ESN. Who are they catching? They tell the people to leave. They invade the camps and catch some few people. This is what they are doing. Because hope was them. Devomahi and Ugwani, all of them are looking for more money. They want security votes from the federal government to tell them, well done, you are doing a very good job. That is all what you are seeing. And I can tell you, why are they always calling IPOB ESS? IPOB members who are all in their homes or doing businesses is the one every time you say IPOB ESS. IPOB members are not ESN officers. ESN is a different department. Yes, IPOB do speak for them. 
But every time you said ESN and IPOB because you want to tag the name, because you are calling IPOB a terrorist group, which they are not, and you are trying to put ESN beside them. ESN was set up to make sure the Fulanese, his name, the Fulani his name is the fourth most dangerous terrorist group in the world. Everybody knows that. And these are people coming into our communities. Most of you have seen the video. The Nigerian Special Force with Fulani people, with Fulani his men in a video. Attacking a place. What does that tell you? They are flag. I know this night, as I have opened their eyes that we have realized, next time now, they will make sure that nobody... Look at the video. Look at the pictures. These are Nigerian Special Forces with Fulani his men. They are all working together. They are all in the same video. They are all in the same bush, attacking communities. And they think we are fools. They think they can come and I am asking this night, every IPOV media warrior, wherever you are, and all you lovers of freedom, who are on social media, it is, I think all of us are sleeping these days. Don't because of there is no Christmas for us. Don't say this is Christmas period. We have no Christmas because the enemy comes when you want to celebrate. We have nothing to celebrate. We do not have anything to celebrate. So if it is because of Christmas season that you are giving one reason or the other, why will you will not face this war? That means you are not called for this mission. And I am mandating every media warrior, it is time to go back. All our media personnel in the Afro land, it is time all of you stand up, go to places, interview the people. I expect by now most of you would have been in Ihamufu to get a first hand interview from people, not all those random videos people are making. We expect all of you to be very objective, carry the news. The Ifa Yugwani is paying the Nigerian media heavily not to carry the news of what is happening in the Enugu state. If I Nguani, the governor of Enugu State, paying heavily, asking them, no matter who is killed in Enugu, they should not carry the news. And that is what you are seeing. That is what is happening in Enugu. And I'm saying this night, since they want to suppress or sweep under the carpet the death of our people, because if we leave them tomorrow, they will repeat, we are going to revenge. We must revenge the death of our people in Ihamufu. We have taken enough from all this nonsense. And I can tell you, our revenge, the Nigerian media must be ready to carry our revenge. Because they have massacred our people and nobody is talking. We are going to visit the Fulani Hesmen. And all of you will see it on the newspaper. And that time, you will remember that I told you that the Fulani Hesmen these are the people who are killing our people. The traditional rulers, they are giving up the land. And they refuse. They will sell the land. And they will refuse to say anything when our... They are the ones bringing those people to come and attack our people, to kick them away from their ancestral land. And we are not going to leave it. Fully religious men cannot kill us and we will never revenge. No matter anything they like, they should target. But full and his men we pay with their cows in our land. They we pay because of the killing in, in Ihamufu. Because of the killing in Enugu State, full and his men we pay. And I can promise them that they can do anything they want to do. Full and his men we pay for killing our people. Because they have been killing our people and nobody is saying anything. Look at how many people massacre. If you post it on Facebook, Facebook will buy you. You put it on the news, they will close it. You put it anywhere, they tell you it is against their standard, that they are killing us. If IPOD speak now, all of them will come out from where they are to write jargons against IPOD. And finally, this evening, I came across a video people have been sending to me about one guy called Ejima whom the Imo state government paraded today with hopos of Emma. I want every one of you to listen very, very attentively. The question I want you to ask, why will hopos of Emma stood 
on today's phone with somebody they call the Ejima? That is the question, everybody, because the name of China Sanwaru was asked to be mentioned. One thing is this. Let us understand the game. The Ejima that they showed today. I want everybody to ask a question. Who is the guy behind him? Why is it that they refuse the guy behind him to talk? This is IPOD. This is the indigenous people of Biafra. Our intelligent unit is second to none. You cannot doubt us. And as I am saying this thing, I want the DSS, I want Hopus of Emma to listen very well this night. All their games are rubbish. All these games are all rubbish. Let me give you people a little background about whom they are doing what they are doing. Ask Hopus of Emma, do you know Ejima? Do Hopus of Emma, the DSS, do you people know Ejima? And in case you don't know, Ejima is a nephew to Hope Ozademma. Ejima is a nephew to Hope Ozademma. The mother of Hope Ozademma and the mother of Ejima is from the same clan. The same clan or kindred, the mother and the the mother of Hope Uzademma, they are from the same family. Ejima has been working with Hope Uzademma for many years. Ejima, the guy you people saw, they televised this evening. Ejima has been working with Hope Uzademma for a very long time, when Hope was a senator. When he is the rainmaker for Hope Uzademma, he is his hit man for Hope Uzademma. When Hope Uzodema went into as a governor, they have a small disagreement. Hope Uzodema started looking for him. He started fighting Hope Uzodema. When he's fighting Hope Uzodema, he started running because Hope wanted to catch him. He tried to run and find somewhere to take a cover. But because IPOB, we are smart with the people he's communicating with. He told them that he need a refuge in IPOB, that Hope want to kill him. During the time, that is during the time when they said there was no seat at home, people were stealing and attacking. These are all the people Hope. It, I told you people many times, these are political people what they are doing in Orlo. I have said this thing on many occasions. Orlo, Orlo, I have said it on many occasions. On the process, that Ejima, why you hear they call him Ejima? Because they are twin brothers. Around five months or six months ago, I am not very sure, I got the information that Hope was asking him to come and take amnesty. He refused. Hope now went and they arrested his twin brother. And they have been holding his twin brother for more than five months or six months ago. Since they are holding his twin brother, ask anybody who is listening to me, people in all know, they know what I am saying. They are holding, I don't want to call somebody name, the local government chairman, he has been using to negotiate with this guy. The guy was telling them, if you touch me, I am now with IPOD, and I am with ESN, I am with uh, people. This is what he has been using, deceiving them. Ejima is not an ESN commander. Ask anybody, any IPOD family, there is no ESN commander he is. If you are ESN commander, when he when they brought his information, I told them for you to be a ESN commander, you will go undertake a training and you will take oath, which he refused. Then we got information they are using him trying to penetrate IPO. They are using him trying to penetrate ESN. We got every information. 
all of a sudden he said he will go and surrender what if we don't want to accept him in ESN he will go to surrender to hope this is when he realized that how he said what is his position of brother he will only if we don't accept him he will return back to him the people he sent these messages they are alive that we will return back and he come again that hope asks that he's going to give him 50 million to release his brother that he must come and join his government and start fighting IPOD. we told him hope is your brother if you want to go and join him these messages are coming from top though you can go and join him he threatened the leadership i will do this if you people don't take me i return to hope they said they, he even said they call him dss director call him and told him he will give him 50 million so that he will leave for everything he's doing and work with them and release his brother this is somebody all of a sudden we have got information he have gone he have sealed the deal with hope over them for an amnesty i don't want to talk too much now look at him look at the person they caught i want everybody to ask ask hope who's on them where did you catch that ejima where because there is no single wound on his body there is nothing a tamper on his body unlike the nigerian military or the nigerian security no scratch looking no the guy sitting with him is his twin brother they caught since six months ago they asked him if you come and surrender we will give you amnesty we will remove you from any black blacklist if you want you travel outside after you come back you start working with him because he has been working with hope he told he made one mention he said to somebody that hope will not do him anything that he have a blood relation he's a blood relation to hope that hope cannot touch him if anybody hearing what i am saying people can come on radio and testify there is they have because he's going to take amnesty they told him we need to bring here because they know it our door is we lock our doors like seven keys you can't penetrate IPOB. You cannot penetrate IPOB or ESN by all this kangaroo arrangement. Since they have failed, they told them to go and call China Samoru's name. Like you saw what Hope is saying. They will give them order that they are coming there. He's running to Abuja to tell them, oh, I have got a contract. You did not get anybody. What I am saying is very clear we have a lot of evidence maybe the people when he said that we refuse that he will never be because he refused to take oath this is what you have come this evening because you have given a jima amnesty with his brother the brother you are holding the brother for more than six months and you ask him to surrender so that you will leave his brother and he have sealed the deal with the local government chairman and return to you anybody can come and say most of them were using the name of mazen namdekano now it is man it is china sawaru they want to use all of you have failed opposite them i say you have failed you have failed woefully. we are the strategists and we are the smart smartest people in this struggle if you don't know nothing you don't know anything you and your people we are the strategists everybody you send to penetrate ipob we will lock the person outside we will tie them we are smarter than you go and ask i have not boasted of this but we are smarter than you all this nonsense proxy you are bringing we know all immediately you open your mouth and say a word we know where you are coming from we are not here to play Immediately you open your word and utter a single word. We know whether you are from the enemy's camp or you and we will make sure we drill you till we get everything we want. And most of you will be surprised. Sometimes we can deal with you. You think we are dealing with you, but we are extracting information because you came at the wrong time. You came at the wrong time. You want to go and blackmail Mazen and the colonel. You want to say 
Everybody listen to the video. What did he say? Listen to the video and see how he just mentioned my name. For somebody. He, and one of the things he said there. He said that I, that I only told him a uh, Bubago people. I am saying it on air. Every Biafran, anywhere Bubago attack you, defend yourself. Because they are criminal militia. They are banned in Biafra land. If you hope who's on the mass send the Bubago people to come to kill you and you have an opportunity, defend yourself. They are, they are not legitimate in Biafra land. They are not a legitimate group. They are not a legitimate group. They are militia politicians. Everybody must know that. And what he said is something I have said it on radio on many occasions. I have nothing hidden. We don't hide anything. And I'm saying it this night. This, what he said, is something we are saying on radio every day. We have made a press release that a Bubagu is banned in Biafra land. A Bubagu is not accepted in the, because it is a tool by the politicians to kill our people. If they come to kill you, you must apply self-defense. Because when they kill you, nobody will talk about you. Is it not what is happening in Biafra land? What he said is a general language. Every IPOB member can say, everybody can say. Tell him to swear. If he can, he's going to take amnesty. Look at the body who they, where did they catch him? Which particular place? Who? They are asking him. And he is mentioning temple. Temple is the person, have you all of you seen it? Temple is the person we have denounced on this radio, Biafra. The names of the people who are committing, using the name of Mazen Nandekan to commit crime. All of you heard him mentioning it. That to show you where they are coming from. They want to rubbish IPO. They have mounted, I know very, very well. They have bet millions on the head of China Samuru. But I am fighting for the Biafran people. And I am fighting with all my hands clean. All attack, all the fight they have bring, all the black men. As long as Chukwu Kikadi am alive, and I know what we are fighting for, all your plans will fail. I owe nobody. I owe you no apology for fighting for the restoration of Biafra. You can gang up everything you want. You can raise a lot. You have already, for one year, six months. Won't you surrender? Are you not yet tired? If you are not tired, we are not tired. But what I have to tell you, what you just did today is for Biafrans to know that you have nothing to offer. You people have gone the line of Mazen Nandekan. We have defeated all of you. We have exonerated Mazen Nandekano that is not part of any criminal gang happening in Biafra land. Now you people want to turn it on China Sanwuru and some few people member of the US. I am telling you, I will be coming on radio on Tuesday or Monday. The flyer will be out. I will come and educate hopefuls of the man. Let me tell him the game he's playing. And let me tell you the plans they have with the British and all of them. We are holding them on the ground. They have no option. They must let their friends go. We told them we will not shoot a gun, but our tactics is holding them. Let them come and do. The world, you came us know we are ready. Europe is bleeding. Europe is bleeding. People are hungry in Europe. I am asking, Catherine Lalang, the UK government, are you ready to accept 200 million Biafrans? 200 million Nigerians who will be fleeing from West Africa? This is the time you have to do the right thing. Because that thing you want, it will happen. Biafra land will never contain any enemy of Biafra. Britain, it is the time to tell Europe to let their friends go. Because all these black men, you people are black men, trying to tarnish the image of Mazen Namdekano. We have defeated you people on Mazen Namdekano. We have exonerated Mazen Namdekano and IPOD. Now you say, let us focus on China Samoru. Let us come. I'm telling you, this is a dead on arrival. But I'm using this opportunity to tell the Western world, I am telling them, the clock is ticking. 
The continuous detention of Mazen Namdekan will wreak havoc in Nigeria. The continuous detention of Mazen Namdekan will wreak havoc in Nigeria. Stubbornness will not help you people. It is better you conduct a referendum and tell their friends to go. Because one thing is this. We will charter ship. We will charter aeroplane to send refugees into Europe. We will push them in into Europe since you don't want their friends to go. Be aware of this. And if the clock is ticking. If you don't do the needful, release Mazen Nam the Kano now and stop all this nonsense black men. You cannot blackmail men who are fighting for their restoration. You cannot blackmail self-determination uh, self activists. You know what we are saying is the truth. We are not saying more than that. We are not asking for your land. We are not asking for your money. We are not asking anything from you. What we are saying, let Biafra go. Let Mazen Nam the Kano go. But if you feel to have come The DOS, I am just one person. There are many other DOS members who are there to fight and defend this struggle till Biafra is restored. Mazi I will stop here. I will be coming on air next week, and I can tell you I will be coming on air to educate Biafrans on their new strategy, our end of the year, our end of the year uh, um, uh, gospel to Biafrans, to tell them to continue to have hope. Mazi the Kano must be released. Mahekwegani Gekwetereha. And from here, from me, this is Mazichina Sangoru, a member of the Directorate of State for the Indigenous People of Biafra, Asemunde Wono. De wo mazi, de wo, de wo. De wo. Thank you very much. I hope all and sundry. Are you there? Yes. Yes, mazi, yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Um, I will open the lines just for few calls, very few, two or three calls. You know. Yeah, Mazi. Yes. Yes, I was hearing you. I don't know. So I, I think. Um, do 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 you? Are you going to remain? I want to open the line. Just few calls. One, two, three calls. Mazi, are you hearing me? Somebody is disturbing this line, honestly. Mazi Chinedu? Yes, yes. Yes. Mazi, can you hear me? No. Mazi, you are not hearing me. Just come to do this clarification so that their friends don't have to panic. That is why I'm here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. There were. There were.